Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to lock a specific content on your WordPress website for free. So if you have a WordPress website and you have some valuable content on your website and you want to lock that and you want to put a form like this where people can write their name, their email and submit that and you want to collect their emails for email marketing or for growing your email list, you can do it easily by watching this video. And this is the demo of the form that we will be creating in this video. So as you can see this is just a testing post and this is the normal text and you can see fill up the given form to unlock this valuable content. So user will have to fill up this form in order to see this content. Now you can put this as a blur text. This is the soft lock. Or you can completely hide this if you want and that will be a hard lock. I'll show you both the methods. Now let's test this out. So I'll write my name here just for example and I'll write an email like this and we'll click i agree obviously you can change this content and this also and also you can change the button text let's submit this and now you can see that this is the locked content i just wrote this text but you can write your own text your code image and anything you want so this is how this work and now if you want to check the email and the name you can just go to your office dashboard here you can go to the subscriber list and you will see all the entries so as i did this one this is the name the email this is verified if you want you can put verification on the email that people will have to verify their email and now you can delete this or you can just take this and you can send them an email so let's see how we can do this and uh, for that we will be using a simple free plugin so just go to your plugins click add new and here search for subscribe to unlock And you will see this plugin subscribe to unlock up in content light this is by wp shuffle just install and activate this and once you activate this plugin you will see this menu subscribe to unlock then you can go to its settings and here you can do the required settings for the content for the form the layout and for the email so first thing is lock content here you can put the content that you want to lock and you can add a media if you want you can write your code your text anything you want so your lock content will go here as you can see the example here then scroll down and this is the lock mode so you can choose soft lock or hard lock and i showed you that this was a soft lock where you will see a blur text behind the form and if you choose hard lock this will display nothing just a form so let's pick soft lock for now this is the verification so please check if you want to enable the email verification of the subscriber before unlocking so if you want the user to verify their emails you can just enable this and these are the form messages so if the form is successfully submitted this will show this message obviously you can write your own message like success message this is the form required error so you can also change this like this or you can write anything and this is the form error message so error try again I can write something like and this is the test mode so you can enable this to display an unlock form for the admin even if it has been already unlocked so you can enable this for testing mode then you can go to form settings and here you can do the settings of heading subheading name email and so on let's open the first one and this is the heading text let me show you again and this is locked again because I have enabled the test mode. So you can see the heading. Please fill up the form to see the content. And this is the heading. You can change it. And the subheading. So I have disabled this. If you want you can enable this and you can write your subheading. And this is the name and the email. Which are basically the form fields. So you can enable the name or you can disable this. And you can make this required. This is the label let me show you you can see your name and your email so this is your name and this is your email and these are the form inputs and this is the terms in agreement you can enable this and you can write something here like this and you will see it right here you can go to subscribe button and you can change the text here like subscribe or something like this and you can go to footer and you can enable this and you can write any footer text and obviously you can write your own text I am just showing you the method 
Now you can go to the layout settings and here you can change the form layout and its width. So you can give this some custom width and you can change the template here. So let's choose template 2 which will look like this. This is template 3, 4 and 5. And let's say I want this one. So I'll keep this and then we'll go to email settings. And here you can do the email settings like if you want to send them an email after the form submit you can do it here you can write the email subject so the subject will be let's say log content from email you can write your own email here like I'll write the website email here but now let's leave this and here you can write the form name so you can write any name like content locker or something and here you can write the message so hello there thank you for subscribing to our restart website and here you can make changes to this email if you want for now let's leave this because we don't want to send any email and uh, in the last we will just save our changes and now let's go back and let's refresh this now you can see the form look is different this is the heading the subheading name email i agree to terms and then submit so I think I removed the button text. Let me quickly check that. We have to write something here. And now we got the text here. And this is the footer text. So obviously you can remove these things if you don't want to. So this is how you can put a content locker on your website. I already have another video about the complete content locker in which you can lock your content by social locker like Facebook like, Facebook share, Twitter, YouTube subscription. So if you are interested in that you can visit my channel. I have lots of videos about Wolfes and Elementor and here you can search for that video also like social locker. You will see this how to lock, how to social lock your website content. So you can watch those videos also. And you can go to playlist and you can learn about Wolfes and Elementor. So I hope this was helpful for you. Still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.